but it is very cool to be eating wings in Buffalo. <laughs> Yesterday we explored Niagara Falls on the U.S. side for the first time ever and had a blast getting soaked by the falls, checking out different overlooks, and riding a boat to Horseshoe Falls. We're headed just a bit south of Niagara Falls to the city of Buffalo, New York. Buffalo is the second largest city in the state of New York. It's known for its art deco architecture, a great art scene, the mighty buffalo bills and sabers, and some unique and iconic food items. And today we're trying as many iconic buffalo food items as we can, both in the city and on the outskirts and we're starting with an item that you may or may not have heard of, peanut sticks. So peanut sticks are a specialty of Buffalo and they originated at a spot called Freddy's Donuts which was open from 1935 to 1989. And what a peanut stick is, is it's a cake donut that's dipped into a glaze and then covered in crushed peanuts. We went to a Buffalo area institution called Paula's Donuts and brought it to this area in downtown Buffalo called Canal Side which is as you can see right here on the water. And my first impressions of this thing is this thing is hefty if you say well, let's put it this way if you needed to uh collect some money from someone this would be a perfect weapon to take to their <laughs> kneecap <laughs> death by peanut stick yeah. when i first bit into this it kind of i got the initial reaction of like it tasted like a payday you know the candy bar payday that's covered in peanuts but then on the inside is way softer and cushier and just airier the cake donut on the inside it's nice and fluffy and then the glaze is super sweet and then the peanuts give it a nice little crunch. I can see why people love these in Buffalo. Cake donuts are my absolute favorite type of donut so I'm especially excited for this. It's so big. Mm. That is such a good cake donut. It is nice and fluffy and moist on the inside. It's sweet but also salty. It's just crunchy too but soft. It's a really good mix of textures. Yeah, I love this. The peanuts keep falling off though, so I'm trying to keep them all safe on top of the, the peanut stick. Okay, you might have heard of New York style pizza, Chicago style, Detroit style, all kinds of styles. But did you know that Buffalo has its own style of pizza? And it looks freaking good. So what makes a pizza a Buffalo style pizza is that it has a light and fluffy crust. And we read it's kind of like a focaccia. There's a slightly sweeter sauce. There's tons of cheese. This thing is loaded with cheese and they put the toppings like the sauce and the cheese basically all the way to the edge of the crust. So you get goodness in every single bite. And then it also has cup and char pepperoni, which is pepperoni that curls up a bit when it cooks and then creates basically a pool of oil, which yeah. There are tons of pizza places in Buffalo. I think I saw a number, there's over 500 of them. And there are tons of opinions on who has the best. We read all kinds of forums, all kinds of websites, and we settled on a place in the south of town called Imperial Pizza. It was only $3. Yeah. What? Yeah. This was three bucks. <laughs> this huge slice of pizza was only three bucks. Three something. Three, three something. Change. Mm. This pizza is incredible. When I first bit into it, the bottom has like a nice little crunch on the bottom, but then it's also super fluffy and again, pillowy. But, oh, there's so much flavor. The sauce, if you wouldn't have told me that it was a little sweet, I wouldn't have thought anything of it, but it does have a little bit of sweetness, but there is tons and tons of cheese. You just have a mouthful of cheese. The pepperoni is so good. And the the, the crust is, is amazing. Yeah, Adam. 
totally nailed it that is amazing the bottom has that nice little crunch to it i do kind of taste the sweetness in the sauce but when i read that the sauce was sweeter that made me a little nervous i didn't know what to expect but i think it's still super delicious and the pepperoni it's just so cheesy so good We headed even further south to Barville Tavern, which is a cash-only bar and restaurant, to try the number one thing we think of when we think of buffalo, wings. Wings are as they're commonly known outside of Buffalo. Buffalo wings originated here in Buffalo in 1964 at Anchor Bar when Dominic Bellissimo was tending the bar and some of his friends came in and he asked his mom to whip up something delicious for them. She fried some chicken wings, put a special sauce on top. They loved it. Word got around how good they were and everyone started flocking to Anchor Bar. Similar to pizza, there are a lot of opinions of which place in town has the best wings. We spent way too many hours, like way too many hours, researching, reading a lot of forums, and we settled on Barville Tavern. And this place is hopping on a weekday at lunch, trying to talk as loud as I can. It's very, very busy in here. So we got an order of 10 wings, and there's a variety of different heat levels you can get from super mild to super, super spicy. And we tried, he brought us a sample. Uh, we were debating whether to get hot or medium hot. So he brought us little samples here. I don't remember which one, I'm not trying it again, but the hot, the regular hot, just did a little taste of it. And I don't know if you've seen our Moab video when I had that chicken sandwich and I had heartburn all afternoon and just a taste of that. I can already get that sensation coming back. So we went with the medium hot. <laughs> Amazing flavor on the sauce there. The chicken is super juicy, got a little bit of crunch. Today is the day of messy foods. They're still steaming. It has a really good heat level. I can feel it. It's pretty hot, but it's not unbearable like the hot one that we tried a sample of. And the chicken is just so juicy on the inside. It has a little bit of crisp on the outside, but it's not super duper crispy, but oh, it is so good. We've had a handful of buffalo wings in our lifetime, but it is very cool to be eating wings in buffalo. <laughs> we also came here to try a second iconic buffalo food item, a beef on weck. It's a roast beef sandwich on a kummelwick roll, which is a Kaiser roll with pretzel salt and caraway seeds on top. So there's two theories on how it came to be an iconic buffalo food. The first one was a German baker came from the Black Forest of Germany in the 1800s, brought the recipe with him. Another theory is another spot in town called Schwabels created the recipe. There's no documentation either way, but I'm happy there's one sitting in front of me now. So we got the regular size, which is the largest size on the menu of the beef on weck. And look at that, they load it up. They slice it right here while you're waiting for it. Mm. That is an excellent sandwich. Super simple, just meat and bread, but you get so much beef flavor in there. It's so juicy and tender. And then the, the Kaiser roll, Kummelwick roll, has a nice little crisp on the outside, kind of baked to perfection saltiness and then the caraway seeds kind of give like a, a unique kind of little flavor in the back of your mouth that you don't normally get. I don't know how often I eat caraway seeds. That meat is so juicy. When we were reading about the sandwich, we we're like, that sounds almost like just too simple, just meat and bread. But that, I think that's why it's so good. It's just simple, but it has really, really good flavor. The meat's delicious. The bread is so, so good. And it does have like that herby kind of taste from the caraway seeds that most breads don't have. We know we're gonna get some comments that say, how do you guys just eat this all the time? And the answer is, we don't. We eat very healthy off camera, so we especially love getting to stuff our face with all this fried, bready goodness. For our final Buffalo food item, we're in the Elmwood Village neighborhood, which was actually rated one of the top best neighborhoods in the United States. This area is super walkable. There are tons of beautiful historic homes, murals, and local businesses. And one of these local businesses is Watson's Chocolates, which we hear makes one of the best sponge candies.
So these little guys are sponge candy. And what sponge candy is, is it's caramelized sugar that's wrapped in chocolate. And we got a milk chocolate one and a dark chocolate one. And these have different names around the world and the US. Out West, we hear they're called sea foam candy. And in the UK, they're called cinder toffee. And some people call it honeycomb, but they've been really popular here in Western New York since the mid 1900s. So these are way bigger than I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be the size of a die, but it's weird because you pick them up and they're super light. Mm. Crunchy. Mm. That is a super unique texture. It's weird because you bite into it and it's super crunchy, but then as soon as it hits your tongue, it kind of melts like kind of like cotton candy. It's weird. I thought that I read that it was going to kind of be like Butterfinger, but it kind of looks like it, but not really because it's this is kind of more air pockety and as Butterfinger is more layered. This is really crazy, <laughs> crazy <laughs> texture. I don't know how to describe it. Wow, it almost immediately like, evaporates in your mouth. That is wild. Oh, it's really good though. It's almost like little like sugar sand just inside of here. It's just, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. Just never tasted or felt that texture. Before. Yeah. Mmm, it just dissolves so fast. You know people around here love sponge candy though when you see people with sponge candy bumper stickers. <laughs> It has been a super fun and delicious time here in the Niagara Falls and Buffalo area of New York. And we had hoped to go to the Finger Lakes next, but this week has not gone totally how we had planned. We had some weather issues and Kona got sick for a couple days, which she's totally healthy now, $700 later, but it definitely just, the week just wasn't how we thought. <laughs> but even though we can't see as much as we had hoped in New York, there's still more we wanna see of the state. And next up, we are heading east to hike in the Adirondacks. We had, it got really quiet all of a sudden. It's a cash only bar and restaurant. <laughs> I'm like really like in my head right now. Blue cheese is awesome. It just gives a nice little creaminess, cools down the spice a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect combo. Two peas in a pod. It's warm. I just like. And lay down there. <sighs> Just want to cuddle up with this pizza pizza. Oh my god, I'm covered in oil. <laughs> <laughs>